Hey, I'm Morgan, and we're in the Jackrabbit Hollow. Do you ever find yourself with a plethora of pumpkins? Let me show you a few things that you can do with these pumpkins. You're going to need one of these items. A food processor, a blender, a slap chop, or a knife. Chop it all up, separate the seeds. Process it however, cook it up, make it into a mash. Can it, freeze it, dehydrate it with cinnamon and agave nectar. I could make it into a bread. I could make pancakes, soup base, pumpkin pie. The possibilities are endless. Always use cool, clean, chlorine-free, fluoride-free water and organic or all natural local ingredients. The seeds can be dried, used for planting, or crushed up, combined with coconut flour and agave nectar, and used as a vegan alternative for pie crust, or just enjoyed. This is a zucchini. It can be slipped in with the pumpkin. Nobody will notice. Now that you know what to do with pumpkins, Here's a little bit more about them. Pumpkin refers to certain cultivars of squash. The thick shell contains the seeds and pulp. Pumpkins are widely grown for commercial use and are used both in food and recreation. Pumpkin pie, for instance, is a traditional part of Thanksgiving meals in the United States, although commercially canned pumpkin puree and pumpkin pie fillings are usually made from different kinds of winter squash than the pumpkins frequently carved as jack-o'-lanterns for decoration around Halloween. It is considered a delicacy in traditional local cuisine such as for pumpkin soup, potato salad, or even vanilla ice cream. Canned pumpkin is often recommended by veterinarians as a dietary supplement for dogs and cats that are experiencing certain digestive ailments such as constipation, diarrhea, or hairballs. The high fiber content helps to aid proper digestion. Raw pumpkin can be fed to poultry as a supplement or regular feed during the winter to help maintain egg production, which usually drops off during the cold months. It is incredibly rich in vital antioxidants and vitamins. Pumpkin is a storehouse of many antioxidants such as lutein, xanthin, and carotenes in abundance. This humble backyard low-calorie vegetable contains vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Health benefits of pumpkins. It is one of the very low-calorie vegetables. 100 gram fruit provides just 26 calories and contains no saturated fats or cholesterol. Vitamin A is a powerful natural antioxidant and is required by the body for maintaining the integrity of skin and mucous membranes. It is also an essential vitamin for good visual sight. Research studies suggest that natural foods rich in vitamin A help a body protect against lung and oral cavity cancers. The word pumpkin originated from the Greek word pipon, which means large melon. The word gradually morphed by the French, English, and then Americans into the word pumpkin. Pumpkins and squash are believed to have originated in the ancient Americas. These early pumpkins were not the traditional round orange upright jack-o'-lantern fruit we think of today when you hear the word pumpkin. They were a crooked neck variety which stored well. Archaeologists have determined that variations of squash and pumpkins were cultivated along rivers and creek banks, along with sunflowers and beans. This took place long before the emergence of maize, corn, after maize was introduced, ancient farmers learned to grow squash with maize and beans using the Three Sisters tradition. Three sisters are squash, corn, and beans, which grow and thrive together. Corn serves as the natural trellis for beans to grow on. The bean roots set nitrogen in the soil to nourish the corn. The bean vines help to stabilize the corn stalks on windy days. The squash plants shelter the shallow roots of the corn and shade the ground to discourage weeds and preserve moisture. Truly a symbiotic relationship. The early Native American farmers were practicing an early form of sustainable agriculture. How cool is that? The early Native Americans roasted pumpkin strips over campfires and used them as a food source. They used the sweet flesh in numerous ways, roasted, baked, parched, boiled, and dried. They ate pumpkin seeds and also used them as a medicine. The blossoms were added to stews. Dried pumpkin could be stored and ground into flour. They dried the shells and used them as bowls and containers to store grain, beans, and seeds. It is said that Columbus carried pumpkin seeds back with him to Europe. There, they were used to feed pigs, but not as a human food source. The pilgrims were also known to make pumpkin beer. They fermented a combination of persimmons, hops, maple sugar, and pumpkin to make this early colonial brew. In early colonies, pumpkin shells were used as a template for haircuts to ensure a round and uniformed finished cut. As a result of this practice, New Englanders were sometimes nicknamed pumpkin heads. There are many theories about the origins of jack-o'-lanterns and Halloween. Early jack-o'-lanterns were carved from turnips and potatoes by the Irish and Scottish and carried in Celtic celebrations. The English used beets. Lumps of coal were lit on fire and placed inside the hollow root vegetables. In the late 1800s, there was a movement to turn Halloween into a celebration emphasizing community and neighborhood activities and parties. This is the Halloween we know and celebrate today. Pumpkins are truly great. I hope this inspired you. 
to bring more pumpkin and squash varietals into your life. The next time you're out, why not just pick up a pumpkin? Or two? And see what creations you come up with. From art, to food, to just a good reason to gather with friends and family, the pumpkin possibilities are endless. This has been a plethora of pumpkins. We're in the Jackrabbit Hollow. Thanks for watching. Oh, my wee baby. Oh, no, and I got another one crying on the table. The babies are so bountiful in this place.